All right, so let's tune in. Rub the palms together. Take a nice deep breath. Allow yourself to fully arrive on your mat right here, right now. And bring your hands to stillness, lightly touching. And draw this energy to your heart, lifting your heart. And even though we're in separate houses, spread out across different states, we have a collective energy here. Energy can be anywhere and everywhere. So breathe into that collective energy that we're creating here in this group. When we practice yoga together, the benefits multiply more than when we practice alone. Let's inhale together, filling up. Exhale all the way out. Nice straight spine, inhale. Exhale. Inhale deeply for Ong Namo, gazing at your third eye center. Ong Namo. come right up to standing for a couple sun salutations, opening all of the meridians and nadis in the body. So standing at the top of your mat, your toes spread, big toes touch. Bring your palms together at your heart, lifting your heart. Now pick one spot in front of you to gaze, gentle drishti. Breathing in and out through the nose as you inhale mentally thinking sat, which means truth. On your exhales thinking nam, I am. Let your breath be slow, full. On an inhale, reaching out and up. On an exhale, reaching out and down, folding. Inhale, flat back, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, keep that length as you fold. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, out and down, swimming back to your heart. Let's add to it. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, out and down. Inhale, flat back. This time, as you exhale and fold, 
Walk your feet back into triangle pose. Wide fingers, your whole hand on each side is pressing into the ground. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears for a moment. And now let your shoulders relax, gliding away from your ears and let them spread open. Your armpits are trying to face each other underneath you and the backs of your shoulders are wide. On an inhale, come into high plank push-up position. Reach back through the heels of your feet. Press strongly through your arms. Back of the head lifts up towards the ceiling. On an exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, onto your belly. Inhale, cobra, lifting your heart. Your legs press down into the ground. On your next exhale, Bend the knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips, triangle. And you might shorten your stance a little. You might bring your feet a little bit closer to your hand. Find that shoulder alignment again. On an inhale, look forward, walk up into your flat back. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, reaching out and up. Stand tall, exhale, arms swim all the way to the heart. A little faster this time. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, hinge. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, downward dog, triangle. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, triangle, lift the hips. Shoulders relax, hands press into the ground. On an inhale, walk up into your flat back, finding space in your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale out and up. Stand tall, swimming to your heart. One more, this time we'll skip the first downward dog. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hinging. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands plant down, step right back into plank, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Now in cobra, inch your pelvis a little bit farther forward, press into the tops of your feet so your knees lift off the ground, up dog. Exhale, down dog, triangle. Find your shoulder alignment and then tuck your chin, gazing back towards your legs or towards your belly button. On an inhale, walk it up, flat back. Keep that length in your spine as you fold. Inhale out and up. Exhale, swimming to your heart. Pause. Can you close the eyes? and just notice how the body feels.
come down to seated. We're focusing on ether tonight, so I really want to connect with this idea of space. So all those little, maybe little tinglys in the body and also all the little space in between your connective tissue, muscles, ligaments, the empty space in the belly, empty space in the bladder or colon. And this space around your body, reach the arms up 60 degrees. Your thumbs are trying to plug up into the sky. They're stretching up. Your fingertips curl into the very first mounds, little mountains on the hands. Your palms are stretching open. Your shoulder blades relax. Take a few slow breaths here at first. Feel the space existing around your body. Now begin breath of fire, panting like a dog through the nose. If you're new to breath of fire, you can stick your tongue out and pant like a dog through the mouth first. And then close the mouth, let the breath happen through the nose. Keep it going. Draw your awareness to the crown of the head or the space arcing from one thumb tip up and over to the other thumb tip, like an arc above the crown. Inhale deep, bring your thumb tips to touch, your fingertips stretch up, squeeze the energy up your spine. Exhale, pass through your space. Feel your space as the hands come all the way down. Let your fingertips touch the earth. Tune into the space around you that's touching the skin, that's directly around your body. Gently deepen your breath, let your eyelids float open. Take a moment to just talk about ether and then we'll come into our Kriya. So ether is the container that's holding everything. It's not moving. 
air is moving within it, water, fire, earth are moving within it, but space is not moving. So when we think about the, that balance within our bodies, remember we have all five elements in our bodies, but depending on you know, our environment and what we're eating and what we're doing, that ratio is going to shift and change. So we're always in this beautiful balance but when it's, say it's right now we're in, um, in Vermont anyway, we're in a wet, cold season. We're getting a lot of heavy, wet snow or rain and it's cold. Ether is cold too, space is naturally cold, but it's not heavy and it's not wet, it's dry and um, very, very light. So this time of year, it can be really nice to bring in more of that dry, light energy. Our bodies might actually be a little bit heavier from the winter. And when we start to bring in a little bit more ether and we start to eat things that are more like sprouts and you know, leafy greens and um, bitter taste, it helps to lighten, lighten the body and lighten that um, ratio, releasing a little bit of the earth element. So we're always doing the opposite of um, anything that we might be feeling is out of balance. So if you're feeling sluggish, uninspired, unmotivated, depressed or low, then bringing in a little more ether, air, or even fire can help balance that. And with the foods that you're eating, you know, can help balance that. And a little goes a long way. I'll just tell you, I've been experimenting with this for many years now. And if you just go and eat a ton of sprouts and like spice, you're gonna swing really far over into the light, agitated fire, you know, side. Um, you, if you just add in a little bit, it's gonna go a long way. Or if you add in a little Kriya, like we're gonna do tonight, it'll go a long way. You don't have to swing super far. You can kind of just, you know, pop in a little extra 15, 20%, and it makes a really big difference. And you'll notice within with yoga, you'll notice immediately. With food, you'll notice within like a day. Yeah, does that make sense? Kind of. And then as we go through the different elements of this course, um, you know, we'll learn how to balance air a little more. Um, air is very similar to ether, but air moves. It's very, it's like the lightest thing that can move around. Um, so just to, just to flip on the other side for a second. If you're feeling too much ether, um, you might feel really stubborn, unmoving, un unwavering, you know, unwilling to change because um, space is non-moving. Um, you might also feel, let's see, I have some notes here. You might also feel um, really forgetful, like you're out to lunch, too spacey. And you would do the opposite. You can add in a little more earth, a little more water to ground that in your food or in your practice. And we'll do, you know, earth, an earthy practice and a watery practice near the end. Okay. Let's come into our Kriyas. I have two of them tonight. One, I'd like to do strengthening the aura kriya to really feel that space around you even more. And we'll do a kriya that's called becoming crystal clear. And this kriya is really helpful for lightening. You might feel that spaciousness in your body and in your energy and clarity in the mind. Okay. So come back to your mat and come into tabletop position.
We're going to come into triangle pose, just like we did in our sun salutes. So from tabletop, tuck your toes and lift your hips. And you're pressing equally into both hands as you lift your right foot up towards the sky. Inhale with straight elbows. Exhale as you bend the elbows a little bit out to the sides. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Good, keep it going. A great modification for this, if it feels like too much, you can have your left knee on the ground. I think my, I think someone might be demoing this. So feel free to have the left knee on the ground if it starts to feel like too much. You're literally strengthening the powerful energy of the space around you. Inhale, deep, straight arms, stretch through those right toes. Exhale, let your right foot down and relax in any shape. Child's pose might feel very natural here. Let it go. Come back into tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Lift your left foot up to the sky, press equally through both hands. Inhale, straight arms, exhale, elbows bend. Always let your right knee be on the ground if it starts to feel like too much. Inhale deep, straight arms, stretch through those left toes. Exhale, relax in any shape. Let everything go. Gently rising up to seated. Feel free to bring your sheepskin underneath you if you have one and feel free to sit on a little pillow. We'll be seated for most of the rest of the practice, so just make sure you're going to be comfy. Left arm reaches out in front of you. Yep, left arm. Right arm comes underneath the left, crossing at the wrist. Wiggle your right fingers. You're gonna take these right fingers and hold on to your left hand. Yeah, see if you can wrap it. So see my right hand is underneath and then I'm gonna to try to wrap it up and over. Elbows are straight. Good. This is a chop. Inhale the arms up. They won't go over the head, but the arms might touch your temples a little bit. Exhale, chop it down in front of your heart. Good, again. Keep it going, powerful breath.
Inhale the arms up. Squeeze the energy up. Exhale, let it go. Make sure there's nothing in the way on either side of you. If there is, you can always shift your position. We're going to be inhaling the arms back and down and exhale, they swing forward in front of the heart. Your thumbs are about eye level. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep it going. Arms are straight. Kind of let them feel free, flowing back and forth. Inhale deep, hold the arms in front, lift the pelvic floor, inhale even more. Exhale, let your arms and hands rest on the legs. Let your palms face up. Let the eyelids close and draw your awareness to your aura, your space around the body. Imagine the light of the aura getting brighter and expanding. Feel that subtle vastness of space, the openness, maybe even the power of space. to the inside of the body. So many little areas of space inside. Let your arms open into a T. We'll come into becoming a crystal clear Kriya. Feel that space inside more. We're going to bring one hand in front of the heart. It never touches. And then we'll switch. So it'll look like this with a breath of fire. Good. Stabilize your navel so you don't end up swinging. Yep. Good. Keep it going. Palms are open.
Start to imagine that you're bringing good energy into the heart. Inhale, arms open. Hold it. Exhale, relax. Notice any sensations in the body. ether element is the perfect amount for us. We feel connected to others, not separate. We feel emotionally open in a healthy way and content. Light but not too light. Maybe we even have a subtle lightness to our sense of humor. Bring the arms into cactus and then let the elbows drop a little bit. Yeah, this is our inhale. Exhale here, but the hands never touch. Inhale. Exhale, arms in front of you, elbows are bent. Imagine you're bouncing a ball. Inhale up, exhale as it bounces down. Come lying onto your back. Bring any props that you'll want for Shavasana with you. Last posture before Shavasana. Laying flat on the back. Bring your left hand to cover your navel point. The, so if you take your fingers and you have your pointer finger resting on your belly button and then two or three finger widths below is your navel point. And you'll notice that you can kind of draw this point down towards your spine and then cover it with your left hand and cover your left hand with your right. So you're pressing down on this navel point. Let your shoulders glide down the back. And then lift your left heel off the floor, pointing and spreading through your left toes. After a full, slow breath, switch legs so your right heel is hovering just a few inches over the floor. Keep alternating. If you're strong enough 
to have both heels lifted off the floor at the same time, you're welcome to do that. Otherwise, keep alternating. Really focus at your navel point. The navel point has fire. Fire has an upward moving energy. Let it bring light to your whole body, clarity to your whole body. Inhale deep, hold the breath. Exhale, let the legs release, slightly separated. Let your feet fall towards the outer edges of your mat. Let your arms rest by your sides, a little bit away from you with the palms facing up. Let the eyelids close, coming into Shavasana. The ether element exists at the throat chakra, home of our voice. Allow yourself to feel vast connected to every star, every planet, every moon, sun. We'll rest here for several minutes.
slowly deepen your breath. Maybe notice the quiet, peacefulness inside. And let go of the fingers and toes. Circle the wrists and ankles in each direction. Stretch your arms over your head, getting tall. And hug your knees into your chest. Keep your right knee hugged in. Let your left leg relax long. And take this right knee across the body into a twist, cat stretch. Reach your right arm away. Switch legs. And hug it in. Grab the outside edges of your feet, coming into a little happy baby. Bring the soles of your feet to touch and the hands touch. Rub the feet against each other and the hands against each other. Let your feet go. Let your heels of your hands gently rest on the front of the throat and they gently cup the sides of the neck. Imagine a light blue light glowing the center of the throat. And when you're ready, you can rock up and down to seated or roll to one side. Balancing the five tattvas. All five fingers come together. Your forearms are parallel with the floor. Spine is long, gazing at the tip of the nose. We'll inhale slowly and smoothly through the nose. Our exhale will be rounded lips, eight strokes. Let your belly button move and you're, you're basically doing eight exhales. Your body might try to inhale in between them. Don't let that happen. So it'll sound like this. One smooth inhale, eight exhales.
One more minute. Inhale deep, reach the arms up over the head. Hold your breath, shake the hands. Exhale, let them drop. One more time. Inhale, reach it up, hold the breath as you shake. Distributing energy. Exhale, let them drop. Let the eyelids close. Sitting still. Open your ears to listening. Notice the nod, the unstruck sound silence. Notice that silence of how it feels. Sound is the sense organ that goes with ether. This is where you can hear your calling. Bringing the palms together heart center. Lift the heart and bow the chin. Keep your ears open. And notice where you'd like to send the benefits of your practice. Maybe you'd like to dedicate them to something or someone. We'll sing the long time song.
the light and the space within me honors the same light and space within you. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, Satnam. In my email that I sent earlier today, it was changing my spelling of ether to ether. <laughs> so just know that there's no I in e ether. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if anyone has any questions, um, feel free to let me know. You can email me. Get in touch. You're welcome. That was great, Liza. Thank you. You're welcome. My ether is definitely not balanced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to work on it. <laughs> yeah. And just remember that today we like went with the element. And if you're feeling too much ether, this was not an ether pacifying practice. The, when we get down lower to like water and earth, that'll be more pacifying, helping, helping to bring ether down. So it, more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Normally, <laughs> good. Normally right now we're feeling a little too much earth and water. So this is pacifying for that, lightening you, bringing you up. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great week. Bye. 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 Bye.